These are the Pokemon you're gonna use against this specific lineup. If I don't go quick, people will leave comments like this. Wait, 15 of you liked this? Dude, in that video, I showed the Pokemon off in seven seconds. They couldn't wait seven seconds. I'm just trying to help people because then if I tell you something like, oh, just use any fighting type against the Persian, then you're gonna get a Persian with Scratch and it's gonna destroy your Machamp. And then they're gonna come yell at me and say everything's fake. And then people say I have a battle mod and all this stuff. No. So anyway, we are defeating Giovanni today actually below 1400 CP. We can go even lower, but I wanna kind of at least for the start, you know, this is all new still, so I, I, the threshold should be kind of like limbo. We start here and then keep going lower and lower. So this is also to show off that Giovanni will have Nidoqueen as one of his middle spot Pokemon. That is actually brand new for him. He had Nidoking, but he can also have Steelix. We have shown one video so far with Rhyperior, and then we have the entire 2020 library of Mewtwo. You know, back when it was in October 2020, Mewtwo was here. Okay, so probably I'm gonna be accused of rambling right here. So anyway, Persian Shields, they've been baited out. This Toxicroak is pretty low. We know that it's actually gonna win though. So right here, we don't want the Persian to faint exactly. So I'm not going to do it entirely excellent. The reason is because you can overcharge your energy. So you've probably been seeing me do that. Remember to take advantage every single time you use a charge move, every single time they use a charge move, or if the Pokemon gets switched out, whether that's fainting or manually switching them out. The Pokemon on Team Go Rocket side are going to stand still for about two to three seconds. Make sure to overcharge the energy, meaning don't use your charge move even if you have it at that point while they're standing still. Look, you see that Needle Queen right there? It was standing still. So don't use it yet. So here we're gonna actually pull another strategy here. We're gonna use that switch stun time or whatever. We're gonna put Bisharp in right now. We want to charge energy, so let's get two hits. Nidoqueen didn't even do a thing, and then we'll switch out to the Pokemon we wanted right now, which is gonna be this Alolan Dug Trio. I would have used actually Galarian Stunfisk. It would have been honestly even better, but I've already used too much Galarian Stunfisk. So I feel like if I repeat things, people are gonna be like, Can you show something else? You see what I do for you guys? I'm just trying to help you. I'm like seriously just trying to help people. That's all, and I just oh. Oh my god, sometimes I get lambasted to all hell. So anyway, again, that Alolan Tug Trio, it's a pretty weak thing, but it does resist, actually, when this Nidoqueen is using poison. So keep in mind, Nidoqueen can actually have different fast attacks. So again, if I'm just like, oh, just use any ground, it's like, no. So anyway, this Bisharp right now, it's also gonna resist the poison. So Nidoqueen is gonna resist this attack, actually, because it's bug, it's x Scissor right now, and that's good. We don't wanna KO it. Once again, we're trying to get a little bit more energy, so see how we get energy for each of those hits? We knew that it would take two hits basically to KO that Nidoqueen right there and so that was perfect right? Two hits it was KO'd we got the energy from that and we need that energy right now to go up against this Mewtwo right here who's going to be pretty beefy against this X Scissor. It is going to actually take super effective damage so that's good right? Bug is super effective against it so is Dark by the way which is our fast attack and then the last thing that you should know I know someone would comment on it if I didn't say it but we are actually going to run away from the encounter or maybe we'll just let ourselves get KO'd. This is going to win you're going to see it okay it's going to be extremely obvious. But it's just that I don't want to use my Super Rocket Radar, right? I want to bring you guys more videos for the future, so I cannot use up my Super Rocket Radar right here. I do not want it to go away. But this is all it takes, is you're just going to need to Bisharp two hits, and then Mewtwo actually on your second hit is going to send that confusion out at you. You see the animation go through, but it won't actually deal damage if you attack before then. If you try to get three attacks in, it is going to hit you. Now, the cool thing about Bisharp is actually the steel and the dark of its typing is going to resist the psychic of either of Mewtwo's fast attacks. Now, if Mewtwo had Psycho Cut right now, we'd be just breezing through this. We're a little bit more careful because it has Confusion. Confusion hits like a beast. So this would be the X Scissor that would actually KO that Mewtwo right now. Again, I'm not going to even charge it up. I want to save my Rocket Radar, so watch this. It's going to go through. We're not going to KO it, but we could easily KO it. If you did it excellent, you could be hitting him right now. Look, we could still be hitting him and hitting him and hitting him. Okay, so that is a win, all right? Please. Now, if you want to actually know details, please click an end screen and see another one. I'm just signing off.